Hello everyone, my name is Karim Mushusha, I'm a serial lighting artist, and today I'm gonna show you the easy way to understand the physical based light value in Unreal Engine and how we can use this value in Unreal Engine or any engine to get realism lighting look like this scene. Alright, so the first thing I just want to show you something if we play the game and let's see what we can see. So as you can see here, the light looks very realism like in real life and the idea when we get inside without any light we can see some light and the light indoor looks lit and when we go outside the light start to adjust from the exposure how we can do all of the thing let's jump on it so the first thing i'm gonna do i will remove everything i have so the skylight and the atmospheric spheric uh, cloud direction and fog okay so now the scene has no light so we're gonna use the default light in Unreal Engine so we're gonna go to the window and light mixer I think I already opened it okay and just press create skylight direction atmospheric volumetric and fog so now we have everything set here okay so the first step i'm gonna add post processing all right so we'll go to the infinity okay and now we need to start with the exposure value so when we open this chart this is a very important you have to keep it to understand how we use the exposure so our light now it's middle of day so that's mean it's between 10 and 14 okay so we'll go exposure and open this one put this value in zero and we're gonna put the min and max what is the difference between min and max so the min that's mean when we get inside that's if you do if you have no light inside let's hide this one we need to get some light from outdoor all right so and when we go outside the light has to be adjusted like in real life exact so let's go back to, uh first i will search for fog and turn on volumetric fog and put this value on ten thousand. and start distance i'm always prefer to put it on maybe thousand to keep the fog far from the uh, from the camera and then let's go back to the post processing exposure and let's jump here so we say between 10 and 14 so i will put this value on 12 75 for example and the min i will put it 8 now the scene getting dark right why because we need also to set up the actual value from the direction light so if we search for the direction light we have this value it's 100000 yeah don't surprise we're gonna put this value because this is the similar value from the real life okay and this is how the unreal, uh, unreal engine will be uh, uh, interact with the, with your light so if we search for direction light and go here we're gonna change the intensity to 100,000. boom now we start to get some nice lighting okay but the scene is still too dark is not like the real life so what we can do so first thing if you go inside yeah the scene it's still dark there is a very nice step we're gonna use it now let's search for fill from post processing okay and we're gonna turn on slope and tall okay and put this value on one and this 0 0.3 boom you get some nice lighting it looks realism it seems we we have some uh, pounced light comes from outside okay and this is not the only idea so because if we switch from lit to unlit you will see exact the same uh, color and that's what we want to get okay so now everything looks nice but let's see what we're gonna What's going to happen if we go from outside to from inside to outside? You see the light start to be adjust 
there is nothing out exposure everything looks fine but now yes that's actual texture uh, this is the actual texture for sure uh, color but sometimes we need to tweak the saturation so in this case because we have something it's outdoor and it looks very it's like in cabin or uh, or Bahamas so I will go search for the post processing uh, color and from the saturation I will put this value on 1.2 okay so just take a look between this and this so we'll bring more life to this place okay it's very simple right but the fog we have a problem with the fog the fog color here it looks yellowish but the sky is blue so all you need to do just you can just adjust the fog color to get more bluish take a look between this one and this one now it looks more realism is that correct and because here if you want to get more depth so we can adjust the start distance to be far from the nearest assets okay so now we have a nice uh, depth in the background and everything looks lit okay so let's say you need to have more light in your uh, indoor scenes okay so in this case we're gonna use the fake light but the fake light also it's gonna be related to this value so the local light intensity in interior light it's thousand lm okay lemon so let's try we'll see what we're gonna get because we need to get the exact value from the outdoor so i will drag this value uh, this spotlight and let's put it near to the door and just keep it away from the player and we'll extend the cone and we're gonna change the units from candle to lumens and here it says thousand right so here thousand Ah, oh, from the exterior light we can put let's yeah 10,000 okay because we need to get the exact light from outdoor right so if you take a look here the light it seems to be very natural from the outdoor so if we hide this one and turn it again you see we have exact the same value from outdoor so if you put more value outside from the direction light you have to adjust the your uh, your light inside so now everything set up so we have beautiful light inside and when we go outside we have this beautiful light that's it so let's see when we play the game there is nothing overexposure everything looks lit the textures and details looks insane but we need to get more details so we can go back to post processing and search for sharp and put this value on one and also we have details if we go to the details strange let's put this 1.1 don't go crazy with this value uh, I will keep this off okay I will not use local exposure so to make sure everything is correct we have to check something in visualization it's called HDR visualization so from visualization here visualize HDRI adapter and we're gonna see the exact value and here's the point you remember when we say the min and max exposure now we have the outdoor the exposure between 11 25 but let's see if we go inside you see the value it's back to 8 that's exact what we did in the exposure here is 
now you can understand the difference between the min and max so the min if you want to get more light from outdoor you can put the value eight or even four if you want to get more brighter okay but be careful now you see you're seeing outdoor it looks too bright so it's not like the real life so just don't go crazy so maybe seven if you want very natural light so that makes sense right and why we use the physical based light because the unreal engine uh, is gonna running more faster than the random uh, value and remember random value is gonna give you random result okay and also because everything in the real life it's interact with the light so if you set up this like this but you're gonna face one issue when we try to add in light you're gonna go crazy with the value but remember you have to keep this chart on top uh, on your uh, computer and use it as a your reference so that's the point we have beautiful curves here this curve is correct okay so there is nothing bad here and we can just turn off this again and let's try you see we have this beautiful but now I have a problem with you see the light outdoor it looks too bright so we can adjust this from the plume so if we turn off the plume because you see now we have two hazy effect we don't need this so I will adjust the plume and also I would like to keep this eight so now we have natural light there is nothing of exposure if you really have something out uh, for example if let's say you need to use seven okay we can adjust something called uh, highlight highlight contrast from the local exposure you can just put this on zero on, or let's say 0 0.1 so here's another tab so you can put the light uh, in the, uh, the exposure main in seven to get more realism light and out it's gonna you see your light it's gonna keep your light looks lit okay so if we d oh uh, so when we put this value here oh my god <laughs> I don't know what's happening but let's try again okay so now it's perfect so now we have we don't have anything it's out exposure is that correct so even the light looks nice but i feel it's a bit dark so in this case because we adjust the highlight intensity so i would like to put this on 10 for example okay So now we have the light looks very nice. Everything looks beautiful like in real life. And when we get back here, we go inside. We have this beautiful effect. You see, even the light, there is nothing out of exposure. And here is the secret to get realism lighting in video games. It, for sure you can use this in films also it's important to use this value also in film but we can really see the actual color and the actual texture color so everything looks very natural like in real life so that's it that's very simple right so there is nothing much to do so just again uh, keep this chart with you and use it as a reference try to put the exact value to get the effect that you are looking for i wish you like this video please don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel and share this video leave your comments and see you next video thank you guys